What's going on everybody, Kleep is Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Cricut Ovation 3 and the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Now as always, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, I will be linking to several other videos about each of them in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories, so if you want to know more, definitely check that out, but otherwise, let's get into it. So with the Cricut Ovation 3, we're getting a really large 6.82 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 246, in a 20 and a half by nine aspect ratio. With the Samsung Galaxy A03s, we're getting a six and a half inch PLS LCD display with a 720p resolution as well, a PPI of 270, and an aspect ratio of 20 by nine. When it comes to image quality, I feel like the Samsung Galaxy A03s is a tiny bit better. So if you're doing stuff like watching videos, playing games, or maybe looking at photos, things overall will look a little bit nicer on the A03s, but honestly, the difference really isn't too bad. And for most things, the Cricut Ovation 3 is gonna be perfectly fine too. In addition to this, as you can clearly see here, the Cricut Ovation 3 is significantly larger and with a 20 and a half by 9 aspect ratio versus 20 by 9. We're also getting a slightly taller more narrow form factor here. So because of this, despite the really small advantage the AZ-03S has when it comes to image quality, if you're going to be on your phone a lot, the Krika Ovation 3 with a much larger display and slightly better dimensions is most likely going to give you a better experience. Now when it comes to storage, both phones are getting 32 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion and honestly this is really too bad. In this day and age, with stuff like apps, the system, and just files in general getting larger and larger, 32 gigabytes even for really entry-level phones really just isn't enough anymore. So unless you're really doing the absolute bare minimum, even if you don't have a whole lot of apps or anything, storage is probably going to be pretty tight, so definitely keep this in mind. Now for security features, both phones do have face unlock, and they both have fingerprint scanners too. With the Cricut Ovation 3, it's right here on the back, and with the Galaxy e 3 s it's right here on the power key. But starting with the Cricut Ovation 3, let's give them a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the Samsung Galaxy A03s. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see there, both fingerprint scanners were real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, both phones do have face unlock too, so if you want to use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, with the Cricut Ovation 3, we got an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Then on the back, we got a 13 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. So as far as features go, despite being a really entry level phone, and keep in mind these typically don't really have a whole lot, the Cricut Ovation 3 actually has pretty much all the features, including an ultra wide camera and a macro camera. So if you're taking a lot of pictures and maybe you want a wider variety of features, this is definitely going to be a good thing. With the Samsung Galaxy A03s, we got a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Then on the back, we got a 13 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. So with the AZ-03s, unfortunately, we're not getting an ultra wide camera, but at least it does have a macro camera. And in general, when it comes to photo quality, I feel like the AZ-03s is a tiny bit better. Now, that's not to say the Cricut Ovation 3 takes bad photos. In fact, between the two, the quality is actually pretty similar. And I personally would still go with the Ovation 3 when it comes to the camera, just because the ultra wide camera, especially in a phone like this, is such a useful feature. But that being said, if you want the best photo quality between the two, and you don't really care about an ultra wide camera, then the AZ-03s might have a bit of an advantage. But again, overall, if you're taking a lot of pictures, then I do think between these two, the Krigo Ovation 3, despite not having quite as good quality, is still going to be a better choice. And keep in mind, if you're taking pictures for stuff like Instagram, for example, while the quality is obviously not going to be the most amazing in the world, the Krigo Ovation 3 is still going to be perfectly fine for that kind of thing. Now, when it comes to RAM and processor, with the Krigo Ovation 3, we're getting 3GB of RAM with the MediaTek Helio A25 processor. With the Samsung Galaxy A03s, we're also getting 3GB of RAM with the MediaTek Helio P35. Now, between the two, when it comes to performance, you're really not going to see a huge difference. I mean, these are pretty typical entry-level phones. And if you're going to be on your phone all day, especially doing more demanding activities, you're definitely going to want to spend a bit more and get something quite a bit faster before the really basic use these phones are meant for, like web browsing, light social media use, occasional video streaming, and stuff like that, they will at least get the job done. But again, if you're going to be on your phone a lot, you will probably notice that while these phones are still decently good for more low-end devices, they are still a bit on the slower side. So again, while this is going to be perfectly fine for light users, if you are a bit more of a power user, you still might want to get something faster. Now, I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on both phones. And here are the results I got. So again, not really a huge difference. Looks like the AZ-03s scored a tiny bit higher, but in general, again, between the two, the performance is going to be just about the same. For the battery, with the Krika Ovation 3, we're getting a 4,000 mAh battery that supports 10 watt fast charging. And with the Samsung Galaxy AZ-03s, we're getting a 5,000 mAh battery that supports 15 watt fast charging. So between the two, of course, if you want the best battery life possible and the best charging speeds and everything, then the Samsung Galaxy AZ-03s will have a pretty big advantage. But that being said, if you don't really care that much about the battery and you just want something decent that's 
at least gonna last all day. Then, especially if you're not gonna be using your phone a whole lot, the Krika Ovation 3 is still gonna be perfectly fine. But of course, again, if you want the best battery life between the two, the Samsung Galaxy A03s, especially for being more of a low-end phone, does have really good battery life and pretty good charging speeds too, so definitely keep this in mind. Another thing to keep in mind here is that when it comes to software, on one hand, with the Krika Ovation 3, we are getting Android 12, and since this is a pretty low-end Cricut branded phone, I'm not really counting on getting any major updates either. On the other hand, with the Samsung Galaxy A03s, this phone actually just now updated to Android 13. And not only that, but I'm pretty sure this phone is at least going to get Android 14, if not Android 15 too. So if having the latest version of Android is more important to you, then you're probably going to want to go with the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Now, when it comes to other features, with the Krika Ovation 3, we actually are getting NFC, whereas unfortunately, the Samsung Galaxy A03s doesn't have NFC. So if you like to use Tap and Pay, then you're probably going to be better off with the Krika Ovation 3. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? In general, this is actually pretty close, and I feel like in a lot of ways, it's really just going to come down to which phone you can get a better deal on. Off the top of my head, I don't know the exact price of the A03s, but I know at least at full price, the Krika Ovation 3 is going for around $119. And at this point, if Krika ends up offering this phone for free, I really wouldn't be too surprised either. But overall, all these two phones usually end up being around the same price. And honestly, in a lot of ways, they're pretty much interchangeable. Sure, there are some differences, like again, for the camera, for example, with the Samsung Galaxy A03s, the photo quality is a tiny bit better. But again, the Cricut Ovation 3 does have an ultra wide camera, so that kind of evens things out. Again, the performance is also pretty much the same. But then on one hand, the Cricut Ovation 3 has a larger display and better dimensions, but the Samsung Galaxy A03s has slightly better image quality. The A03s also has Android 13 and much better software support. But on the other hand, the Cricut Ovation 3 has an NFC. And of course, you can't forget about the battery. If that's really important to you, you're definitely going to want to go with the A03s because again, a 5,000 mAh battery is quite a bit larger than a 4,000 mAh battery. And while the Cricut Ovation 3 still does have pretty good battery life, it's going to be a lot better with the A03s. Now, if it were me, I would personally just go with the Cricut Ovation 3 just because I use tap and pay so often that I don't want a phone that doesn't have NFC. And again, the Cricut Ovation 3 has a larger display and an ultra wide camera. So for me, I feel like the Cricut Ovation 3 is a lot more worth it. That being said though, if you do want a larger battery, slightly better image quality, and slightly better photo quality. And then of course, Samsung's type of software support. The A03s is a really good choice too. Again, at the end of the day, if you're looking for a really affordable entry-level phone, either device is honestly going to be a great choice. But this concludes my comparison between the Cricut Ovation 3 and the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, be sure to check out the video description, where we'll be linking to several other videos about each of them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Button. Don't forget to follow Kalipa's Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.